Okay, hello everyone, and welcome. Guys, it's day 11, and we're going to keep looking at normal distributions. We talked about them a little on Friday, and we've talked about them here a little bit when we talked about standard deviation. Today's objective, to understand again where a data value lies in a normal distribution. The essential question, it's written on the board, and y'all, you're going to need to know this, again, for the homework assessment. How can we use a normal distribution to explain where data values fall within a population? Where are those values within a population? Again, data, it can be distributed in different ways. Y'all, it can be spread out, more on the left, more on the right. It can be all jumbled up. Again, we've looked at that stuff. But there are many cases where data, it tends to be around some central value. All right? There really is no left or right biased. We call that a normal distribution or a bell-shaped curve. And again, it looks like this. And we call it a bell because it kind of looks like a bell. All right? That's why we call it a bell shape. Think of uh, the Liberty Bell. Again, in a normally distributed set of data, the mean, the median, and the mode are pretty much the same. It's symmetric about the center. So half of the values, 50% of the values, are less than the mean, and 50% are greater than the mean. And again, y'all, there are a lot of things in the real world that follow or closely follow a normal distribution, okay? So we use normal distributions to approximate things, to estimate things a lot, okay? Now, this is very important right here. 68% of the data values fall within one standard deviation of the mean when we have a normal distribution. 95% of the values are within two standard deviations of the mean. Again, almost all of them, 99.7, are within three. Right? Again, there's always a chance that way outside there are some. So it's hard to say all of them are three standard deviations, but pretty close to all of them, okay? As an example here, quick. 95% of students at a school are between 1.1 meter and 1.7 meters tall. And if it's normally distributed, you can calculate the mean and the standard deviation. The mean is pretty easy. It's halfway between those two. All right, you can add them up and divide by two. So the mean is 1.4. Again, that's what they're doing right here. You know, the 95% is two standard deviations on either side of the mean. So you can take the difference and divide it by four, which is what they're doing right here. Right? 1.7 minus 1.1 divided into four parts. Those are the four standard deviations they're talking about right there that make up the 95% of the data values. So the standard deviation is 0.15. Y'all, again, standard deviation, kind of a good way to think of it, is that it is likely... All right, sorry about that. I got a bunch of machines in here. Sometimes they turn on with the timer. <laughs> All right, guys. Look, it's good to know the standard deviation. All right, because once we find it, we can say that it's likely, I mean, 68 out of 100 of our data values, it should be within one standard deviation of the mean. And it's very likely to be within two standard deviations of the mean, about 95 out of 100. And it's almost certainly within three standard deviations of the mean. 
right? 997 out of 1,000 should be 2 within the mean, okay? All right, y'all, next, go ahead and complete the homework assignment in the purple folder. And we'll see you tomorrow. Thanks. Why don't you hang out here? I'm going to do a quick magic trick. Okay, hello, everyone. I've been practicing a trick. So I show it to you. Just a regular deck of cards. That's a regular deck of cards. All right, we can shuffle them a bit if you want. I'm going to go like this and shuffle. Maybe shuffle them like this a bit here. Okay, let's draw a card. I don't know. How about this one right here? All right, the King of Clubs. That'll be our card. We'll put it right here. We'll kind of let's just put it right here. All right, King of Clubs. It's going right here. Put this on top. Kind of shuffle here. Shuffle some more. All right, I'll shuffle some more. Dude, I'm really going to shuffle these up bad. I'm gonna, this is the old Klondike shuffle, it's called. Where you turn them over like this and turn them over like this. So they're really mixed up bad. I'm going to try to really mix them up. I don't know if it's going to work or not, but I'll try, okay? All right, guys, now what I got here is some of these cards, as you can see, are like this. They're face to back. And some of these cards here, they're like back to face, like that. And some of these cards are even like back to back, like that. All right, but if I just go like this. And now let's take a look at them. Looks like they're all facing the same way. Uh-oh, except for the King of Clubs. It's the only one not facing the same way. All right, that's the trick. Thanks, guys.